Welcome back. We have learned about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. And it seems that with Wolfgang missing, the time is right for us to uh, take that ceremony. Maybe that will also help us get uh, into the library, which apparently only Schattenjägers are allowed to enter. However, we need to find a place to wash our hands. And unfortunately, there is no sink anywhere. But maybe we don't need uh, water, per se. Maybe snow will do. This is one of those kinds of puzzles that I really hate. Because it's adventure game logic. I mean, logically there must be a sink somewhere in, the, um, in this castle. A bathroom, a kitchen, whatever. And you could just go, your, uh, go and wash your hands there if this were real life. Because this is an adventure game and for some reason you can't get to any of those locations. You have to figure out that you can use the snow to wash your hands. This just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, enough ranting. Let's wash our hands. Thinking of the first chapel panel, Giver washes his hands in the snow. Then second, we had to cut our hair. Which I'm sure Gabriel will not be too keen to do, but... Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Thinking of the second chapel panel, Gabriel cuts his hair. I hate this. There, that's plenty. It'll have to do. All right. Next up, we need to go to the chapel and put the chalice on the altar and put some salt into it. You actually don't need water, even though there's water on the panel. You just need salt. Alright, our makeshift chalice. Actually a chamber pot. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel puts the chamber pot on the altar. And salt. And pepper, no. Just salt. Gabriel knows the salt is important, but it doesn't seem right to put it on the altar in the shaker. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel pours the contents of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. Apparently I have to click rather precise for that. Okay, then we need to um, get a few drops of blood in there. Why do these kinds of rituals always require blood? I'm rather fond of my blood. I, I don't like uh, having to give it up. Thinking of the fart panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oops, nearly hit an artery. <laughs> Good going there, Gabriel. I don't think they need quite that much blood. Alright, let's kneel. Thinking of the fifth panel, Gabriel kneels at the altar. And finally, read the scroll. I wonder if anything's gonna happen when we do all this. Or if it's just uh, a ritual for ritual's sake. Thinking of the sixth panel, Gabriel reads the scroll. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night, Upon my blood I call thee now, purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road, thy sword I take up for mine own. What the hell? It worked! Something's happening! Oh. Oh, excuse me, I was just vacuuming. I did not know you were in here. 
Oh, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired here, Knight. Why don't you go to bed? Sure. Why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. Seems we took that ceremony for nothing. It didn't accomplish anything. Night falls over Rittersburg. That night, Gabriel dreams. Don't we do every night? Ooh, but this is different. Your soul smells, Gabriel Knight. You seek to be shattered. I do. You must first burn away the past. How much sin do you have to burn? A lot, I guess. <laughs> You have used people all your life. Never committed to anything. Turn back now, and I will forget that you asked for this. No! There are only two things that redeem you. First, that you have bitter blood in your veins. Second, that three women have loved you purely. You ask to start on the path, so you shall. But you will not be a Shatterdigger until you have earned it. How? I cannot show you the path, but I can tell you that you will have to let go of the greater part of yourself, Gabriel Knight. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Now you asked for purification. You shall have it. Inside a hidden chamber where I had no right to be, I found the wheel at last, or could it be the wheel found me? I wonder what that could mean. What a night. I'm so all over. Wait, there's something here that wasn't there before. Also, no newspaper, no coffee. How can we start the day? Properly, without those things. I don't believe it. It's the key from my dream. How did that get here? I wonder if Gerda knows anything about that key. I guess it's for that door, but I kind of want to know if Gerda knows anything about it. I seem to recall you can ask her about it. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please, feel at home. Um, I guess it involves potatoes? <laughs> For breakfast? Great. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Natürlich. Yes, we can ask her about the key. wonder if she knows anything about it. You wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom now, would you? Key? Why, no, Herr Knight, I cannot say that I do. 
I don't believe you. She walked in on us performing the ceremony last night under the guise of vacuuming. So she knows that we took it. And I think that she put the key on the table. Likely Wolfgang instructed her to do so. But she's being all secretive about it. I mean, I can believe in dreams and voodoo stuff and whatever in the context of this game, but keys appearing out of thin air, that's going too far. Nice looking key, by the way. The large brass key is ornately shaped and must weigh a pound at least. Convenient. Oh well, it's not like we're not already carrying a lot of shit around. Anyway. Let's see what's behind this door. It fits. As expected, Wolfgang's library. This perspective with the uh, books in the front kind of reminds me of the of uh, Ali's books in Kings for Six. Just by glancing at the spines. Gabriel can tell that this is one of the most priceless private collections he's ever seen. Talk about a bibliophile Shangri-La! We should get some of these books to our shop and sell them! Make a fortune! Pay for the upkeep of this castle. More colorful tapestries soften the stone walls here. Two tall, narrow windows provide daylight to the dank room. A heavy wooden table occupies the center of the library. Ornamental shield, I guess? An ancient shield hangs on the wall. I wonder if that's the weapon of the Ritter family or something on the front. She doesn't say so, I don't know. These texts are in German. You really have to learn the language now. Not much help uh, for us now, though. These texts are in German. You really have to learn the language now. Hopefully there's some stuff in English here. So we can do some research and find out, hopefully, what uh, Wolfgang learned and where he might have gone. I mean, the alternative is to just go to Benin and uh, comb the whole country for him, but that might take a while. Much easier to try and find him using these books, but we'll have to do it in the next video.